This might be the coolest species of bee. Welcome back to Bug of the Week Part 31, brought to you by Little Dude Insect Academy. As I say always, if you are new here, consider subscribing, dropping a like down below, maybe even leaving a comment, um, ask any questions you have for me down below. If you weren't already aware, uh, Little Dude's Insect Academy is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and so we run this show and all of our workshops and classes completely off of donations from our generous donors, such as some of you. So if you are interested in helping this cause and helping spread the word of entomology, um, all over definitely head down to the description i will leave a link to donate on our website um that'll be down in the just on the in the description of this video but again some free ways to help us out are like and subscribe that really helps us get this video out there um these videos have been doing really well recently which is super awesome and i'm super stoked for that so without further ado let's just jump right into this episode this is mega chile pluto also known as wallace's giant bee the genus of Megachile are characterized as leaf cutter bees, or also known as resin bees, and this is because they're known to burrow into wood, cut leaves, collect tree resin, and consume such organic materials as these. Okay, so now back to Wallace's giant bee itself. Hence the name Alfred Russell Wallace actually first described this species back in 1858, and these bees are native to the lush jungles of Indonesia. Now being the size of your thumb, these are by far the world's largest bee. Interestingly enough though, this species was widely thought to be completely extinct until 1981 when more specimens were discovered, and this species was once again declared extinct for nearly 40 years until 2019 when it was once again rediscovered, and since then these insects have been considered a um, they've been considered vulnerable, although their numbers have begun to steadily increase, which is great. And one of the many reasons that scientists think that these insects keep seemingly blipping in and out of existence, essentially, is due to the deforestation and creation of oil palm plantations in this region of Indonesia where they're from. Next, let's talk a little bit about some of the characteristics of the bee itself. Like I mentioned earlier, measuring in with a wingspan of up to two and a half inches, these are the largest bee in the world. These bees are also sol a solitary bee, not forming colonies like some other bees do. And these bees are completely jet black all over their bodies, except for a noticeable white strip on their abdomen. And they're also very quite hairy like a bumblebee is. The most distinguishable trait about these bees is their large mandibles on the front of their head. And these mandibles look quite similar to the mandibles of the male stag beetle. And while only the male stag beetles have these mandibles, only the female Wallace's giant bee have these appendages also. One fascinating thing about these bees is that they build little compartments inside of termite nests to live inside of and the females use their mandibles to gather tree resin in order to use as a glue for their nest holes. Their nests look quite similar to that of a mason bee, a singular hole with a singular entrance in the side of a piece of wood. So we don't actually know a whole lot more about these bees. They're kind of, um, they're, they're pretty rare to find and they're pretty low in numbers right now. And you know, they've been, they've been declared extinct twice so far. So there we, we obviously don't know that much about them um so this is a short little episode just to make you guys aware of these really cool bees i hope you all enjoyed this episode just as much as i did making it i will see you all next week but until then keep on bugging